Hello there. Uh, you didn't expect me to come back here again, though, did you? But yeah, uh, welcome back to another Power World video. Uh, that last one was gonna be my last one, but I decided uh, one more because for there was two reasons, actually two, one and a half reasons. Actually, now I think about it, just one reason technically because they're both half reasons. So yeah, I have to beat around the bush. Uh, basically, today two things are happening. A, I'm breeding a bunch of eggs. Well, it's what I've been doing, because, let's be honest, you guys really want to watch me breed eggs for, like, hours? Probably not. If you do, you're kind of a freak, but anyway. I've been breeding eggs. I had, like, 70 cakes in each of these at one point. Now they're down to, like, 12. And I have my pal box. I got all of these Anubises. Anubises? Anubai? Anubai. I got all these Anubai. My box is literally full, so I literally can't have breed anymore right now, but I wanted to wait until I started recording. I even got all of these full right now, and I got this chest full, this chest full, and this one's like half full. Yeah, this one's almost full. But besides that, the main thing today is we're going to try to get the last, well not the last three, but the three legendary schematics I want to get. I want to get the legendary rifle, launcher, and armor. Obviously there are more that I'm missing, but I just want to get those three because they're the ones I'm actually using. Basically, the main goal is we're going to try to get the weapons. But before we do that, let's go condense uh, these eggs down. Or not the eggs, let's go condense these pals down. Alright, and if you didn't see the last one, I have two Anubises at four stars. So ideally, I think I can have enough eggs could be done for three more, maybe? That's what I'm hoping for, because I was going to do all of them, but that would just take way too long. By the way, if you're curious, if you haven't done PAL condensing before, uh, it's very expensive. I think if I remember the math, to get 1 to level 4, you need 116, I think? Because you need 4, 16, 32, 64. So there's the first 4. There you go, level 3. There you go, there's the 32. And again, if you haven't seen this, when he goes to 4 stars, if you look at his passive skills, see, they all go up 1. This works for every pal, so if you want higher level pals, you can do this if you really want to hate yourself. <laughs> this takes so much AFK, because I literally will just leave my Xbox on for hours to let these eggs go. That needed to collect all the ingredients to make that much cake. I literally ran out of ingredients. It takes forever to get them back. I had like so many ingredients saved up for like weeks of play when it came out. So I was able to like make hundreds of cake, but now I'm just out. I can't make more. And there we go. And we still got a whole page of them left. Now we can start hatching more eggs, at least. But I'll do that off-screen, because, again, you don't want to watch that. The main thing we're going to do is the grinding, like I said. And if you're curious what drops what for these specific items, the Jet Dragon drops the Rocket Launcher. The uh, Blazing Mutt drops the AK. And the uh, Duo one over here, the Paladus and Necromos, they each drop an armor, so basically I just need one of the armors. I don't need both. Because they're the same, one's is heat resistance, the other one's is cold resistance. So whatever I get first, I'm just going to take. So with that, with the pals out of the way, we're going to go start the grind now. Now before we get into this grinding, we have a first on this channel. And I just want to say, obviously all this grinding I'm about to do, right? It's going to be awful, it's going to be terrible. But I'll tell you what isn't terrible. Today's sponsor. CMH Pal World. CMH Pal World is a custom Pal World server with a growing, active community. This server has its own unique settings, events, and the biggest selling point, PvP enabled. Something the base game doesn't have yet. The servers are going to wipe on March 9th, so it's a perfect time for you to join in on the fun. For more information, or you wish to join, there's a link in the description below to their website you can check out for both these things. We hope to see you there to join this growing community. Thank you to CMH Power World for sponsoring this video, and let's get back to it. By the way, I know there is before anyone spams this. I know you can capture them and get double chances, but I'm gonna be honest, I have to capture so many legendaries here. It's just gonna take so much extra time, I'm just gonna blitz and kill them, and then just go AFK eggs, because it's just gonna be faster. And plus, I don't have, like, the legendary spheres, I got 19 on me, and you're just gonna need so many. You need, at average, at least, like, 10 for one pal, for one legendary pal. And I have three of them on the rotate, and the other one's still really hard to capture, too, so you might as well use a legendary. I'm hoping to get all three today, but honestly, I think ideally I want to get at least one. Ideally the weapons, because the armor I'm not too picky about. The weapons are like the ideal one. Specifically, uh, Legendary Rocket Launcher would be very nice. By the way, I am curious. I don't know if anyone knows this or not. You know how like how you can like capture the legendaries and then you can breed them, right? You know how like how part of the pool is uh, the script or the schematic? If you breed them and make like new ones, if you butcher those ones, do you get the schematic too, or is it just from the alpha versions only? Does anyone know that? It'd be cool if someone knows that, lets me know. Because that could be a really good way to farm it, but they probably thought of that, but you never know. Alright, first one, we've got Fighter Jet Dragon, we're gonna use uh, Frost Alien for that. This one's pretty healthy, this one's got almost 11k. Ah, I didn't have the rocket launcher already, that's on me. I dodged it though. I got those iframe rolls down, I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring a bit. 
All right, obviously you. Oh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dude, that is. I was literally about to say I'm obviously not gonna show the whole fight unless something funny happens. And then something funny literally just happens. Well, <laughs> that's probably gonna be the easiest kill of today. Oh my god. Alright, okay, so like I said, if unless something interesting happens, I'm probably gonna skip through most of it. Because, you know, you don't need to be watching your shooting for five minutes. But, I mean, that's pretty funny. I think that deserves a like and subscribe. So like I said, we're just gonna rotate between them, and then I'll just talk. And if anything funny happens, I'll include it like that. Let's see if they fix this fast travel, finally. It's fixed? Dang, I don't think it's fixed yet. <laughs> I'm still stuck in- okay. You know, I actually, maybe I should use the bug report thing, because maybe they'll actually fix that. Yeah, it just put me here. Oh. Oh my god, they're all dying here. What happened? Oh god. Uh. Oh god. Dude, they're all depressed, starving, hungry. Oh, they ran out of food. Oh no, bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, are they all fucking... Wait, let me check the box. Oh, 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 no, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, God. Why did I just discover this? This is actually a problem. This is why I get for AFK for so long. These guys are fucking starving now. Uh, well, you guys are a future problem. I'll deal with you guys later. Oh, what the? Dude, I did it again. Dude, wait, did we actually find an exploit? Hang on, we might have actually found an exploit. Hold up. This grindy might become a lot easier if this works again. Oh my god, this is an actual exploit. Guys. <laughs> okay, so I thought that was just a one-time thing. This is an actual bug right now. This didn't happen last time I played. This was because of the updates. It must have bugged. So, unless I just did that before, I never realized. I've shot him so many times with rocket stuff, I feel like it would have happened by now. Well, whatever, this grind's gonna be a lot easier. Okay, so if you want a bug to take advantage of, just freeze them and shoot a rocket at their feet, then go to the skybox and fall and die. Easy. You know, something else I thought about, I don't know if I said this before in a previous video, but something that would be really cool for, like, trophy collectors, like, really rare collector. Oh, double. Okay, you cannot tell me that was fucking cool. Like, <laughs> I actually got a double. Alright, back to what I was saying, though. Something that would be really cool for, like, rare collectors, like shiny collectors kind of things. Like, they have shinies in the game, technically, right? They do. But something that would be really cool, like how there's the alpha ones, and then there's, like, the shinies. It'd be cool if there was, like, a shiny alpha. That would be really cool to find. It'd be, like, super, super duper rare, but it'd just be this fucking massive... Pal. Just imagine like a 20 foot tall chicken, dude. That'd be hilarious. You're gonna see a goddamn like 30 foot t tall chicken. It's gonna hit you with a hollow purple, dude. It's like that's gonna be it. It's gonna be over. Oh my god, I actually just remembered something. I have a story I want to share that happened recently. Jesus, sorry, my voice died there, but. Oh my god. <laughs> dude, fucking voices died all of a sudden. Good lord. Anyway, as I was trying to say, I have a story that I want to share that I just remembered. I don't know if it's a good story or if it's going to be terrible. You can tell by what I'm about to describe to you. I haven't told my friends about this yet. So I don't know who watches this video. I'm on to you guys. So I was at Walmart the other day, right? And I don't know if they have Walmart outside of the U.S. If you're somehow not watching us. Uh, bleh. If you're not in the U.S. watching. If they don't... Basically, Walmart, the best way I describe it, if you want to speedrun looking for someone with some kind of disability, that is like the place to go, alright? <laughs> That's the best way I can describe Walmart. So I was there, right? I was picking up a couple of things. I was shopping. You know, obviously what you do at a store. And I remember seeing this fucking one guy. And I swear to God, this guy I saw, I think he, he literally ate queso. That's how large he was. Like, he, it, it was a big dude. He was quite spherical. I, I didn't think about anything about it. I just kind of thought about it. I was like, eh. I was like, shut it down, right? That, that was it. But hey, apparently we were going like the same direction for aisles. So I kind of wound up going two aisles down with him. And at some point when I was like pretty far behind him, I was kind of, not tailing, but like just going the same direction. But I was also close enough to still see him. I know that's weird to describe, but that's basically what was happening. I was in his general vicinity a lot. And I remember seeing this guy. I remember just in the corner of my eye, I was looking at something. I was like, what, what is he doing? I thought he was like scratching his back or something. When I was just had it in the corner of my eye. But then I remember just, I just look. And I see this guy. He. <laughs> oh, God. 
He's all oh, guy frozen. He's fucking knuckles deep in his asshole, just scratching away. Like I kid you not, that is what I fucking saw. I fucking turned, and this guy is fucking hands deep in his asshole. I was like, what the fuck? And I just looked away because I was like, no, I'm not being a part of that. I don't want to see that. But it was it was like a car crash in slow motion, right? You don't really want to look away. So I wind up looking back, right? And, you know, like, as a guy... Oh my god, that went far. You know, as a guy, right? You know, sometimes when you're a guy, you scratch your nuts, you gotta do the sniff test, right? You know? It's a side of You know, you gotta make sure your, your fragrance is good. You know, make sure you don't stink, right? And I know what you think I'm gonna say. You think he dug in his asshole, right? And he sniffed it. No. That is, that is what I wished happened. I'll say that. I wish that happened. Oh, I watched this man. He pulled his hand out of his ass crack. And I thought he was going to sniff it. He, he did not sniff it. I watched, I watched this man pull his hand out of his ass and lick his hand. His fingers. Like his fingertips. Like he fucking just got done eating ribs at an only eat bar fucking buffet. I was like, oh my god. Like I actually almost gagged. I had to fucking run out of the aisle from what I saw. That was probably, like, one of the most fucked up things I ever saw at Walmart, dude. I was like, what is this? This isn't real, dude. Why are people so weird and go to Walmart, dude? It's a fucking conspiracy theory, I swear to God. It was such a disturbing sight. I, I oh my God. I didn't see anything on his hands, luckily, but that's still nasty. Especially since it's a large dude. Dude, that shit's probably like a fucking swap. Ugh. No, okay, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, it was actually, it was terrible. That was probably one of the worst things I saw at Walmart. I've seen weird things, but that is genuinely terrible. You always see the weird shit at Walmart, dude. Like, oh, God. That is why, I don't know if I said this before, I have, like, a motto, a personal motto for life. There's two places I absolutely refuse to work, no matter how dull banned in life I am. One of them is Walmart. They're one of McDonald's because fuck fast food. McDonald's in particular sucks. But Walmart especially, I, w I would never go work at a Walmart and see shit like that on a daily. So yeah, easily probably the worst thing I saw. The weirdest thing I saw, now that I'm thinking about it, there was actually a really weird thing, but it wasn't terrible. It was like when I was 15, I was just chilling in the car, you know, mommy shopping, I don't want to go in. And I'm fucking, you know, teenager. Mm, I, I missed the rocket. You know, I just didn't want to go in, so I just sat in the parking lot. I remember just sitting in the parking lot, and I remember seeing this one car pull up next to me. And they have like, I don't know what, they have like a name for it, but you know, like there's like, I don't know, it's like people can like paint on their windows or something. I don't know if that's even an actual thing, but they like painted on their windows. So they put down the windows, they had like, hello and stuff, like a smiley face and stuff. I was like, okay, that's a little weird, I guess, but eh, whatever, nothing really noteworthy. But then I remember watching the driver get out, and what I saw come out of that driver's seat, it was this woman, like, a grown woman, definitely, definitely older than me. An adult, obviously, because they're driving. I watched, his, watched him get out, they're in a fucking onesie, which wasn't the weirdest thing. I was like, okay, a little weird, but not the worst, but then I also looked... They had a fucking anuchi in their mouth or a pacifier, you know, like the things babies suck on. Like they had that. I was just like, what the fuck? You know, I make a lot of poor decisions in life, but no matter how down bad I am in life, at least I'm not like these people out here. That's one thing I can at least pride on myself when coming through day to day life. So yeah, today's lesson stay the fuck away from Walmart. That's all I can say. Those are the only two I can think of. If I ever think of any more, I could share in the future. You know, if you guys got any crazy, like, stories like that, I would love to hear them. Dude, I love hearing fucked up shit like that. Experiencing it? No. But hearing it? Yes. It's it's funny to hear it. So if you guys got any funny ones, I would love to hear them. Anyway, well, in between all that grinding, we got the uh, boxes really filled up again. So we're going to do in our batch here. Sorry, I'm starting to sound uh, a little tired. I've been at this for quite a while, so. And a lot of the... Wait, what? Oh crap, I put a four star. Oh, I swapped out a four star. Oh crap. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know how I swapped those around on accident. But yeah, it's getting pretty late. It's almost one right now. Getting kind of tired. But I want to try a couple more attempts and then finish the fusions and then I'll call it a night. Uh, something that I started watching. So, you know, sometimes you just kind of like watch a random show. You didn't think you're going to enjoy it. And you went up doing it. That's how I felt with, uh,. Hasbin Hotel that came out a couple weeks ago now. I don't know how long it's been. It's been a few weeks, hasn't it? But I really didn't think I was going to think much of it. I was like, ah, I'll just, I'll give it a look. Why not? So I remember seeing the pilot, like, forever ago. And I thought, you know, it's pretty cool that a group of animators got that far. They got an official show. So I was like, you know, I'll give it a, I'll give it a look. And it actually turned out pretty, bleh, being 
pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's like uh, the best thing ever. It's got flaws for sure, but I mean for something that was just a passion project, it's pretty cool it got this far. You gotta pay respect for it's due. Then fucking a lot of the songs are catchy as shit and they're stuck in my head half the time. But besides that, it's actually pretty interesting to watch. And with that though, it's number two at four star. That means we have four four stars. Four 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 stars. Four skin. What? It's right there, I remember now. <laughs> Speaking of foreskin, that's a terrible transition. But I remember uh, I was in... Uh, what class is it? It was like uh, for like Photoshop. I don't know. If, I forgot what the name of the class was, but it was for that. I think it was for photography, actually, but we did Photoshop, too. I remember being in that class, and then I remember... I forgot what it was. We had to do a bunch of like different... We had to basically had to like edit, like touch up people's like skin and for like four different ways and then i remember the teacher said with full confidence all right guys remember to do your foreskin projects and i remember the whole class just erupted it was it was so funny dude oh my god you know i not to get into like personal things i had a lot of like just hate for school a lot of the years but sometimes it, it was pretty funny for moments like that I just want to quickly jump in here. Uh, in the middle of all that grinding, uh, we finally ran out of all the cakes I made. The, uh, the eggs are basically almost all done. Well, not almost all done. We've got this batch that just finished like five minutes ago. I was taking a piss. And I got these few left in here. So we really got through a majority of the eggs. So that's pretty good. At least paid off in one way. Still no schematic yet. Update. Because obviously I'm not showing all the kills because that'd be really boring. But yeah, that batch in there which I'll collect. And then these eggs right here are the last of them. So yeah, if we don't get a drop, then we can make one more f four star, then that might just be it. So honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with the equipment I have now. See, so, yeah, I haven't carried some stuff left over. So yeah, if it skips right to me making the last one, you know I didn't find any more schematics. So that's where we're at. Alright, well, to be honest, at this point now, it's three in the morning. I'm getting pretty tired. Sadly, I had no luck with the schematics. Yeah, I got enough. I killed at least, like... 10 per, 12 per today, and it's nothing, man. 2% was really rough today. But on the bright side, we're up to almost 400k gold, and I still got all these to sell, too. This is from the last couple hours that I've been recording, because I did a bunch earlier today, but there was literally nothing usable, so I, I just got rid of it. On the bright side, the eggs did all finish, so hopefully there's enough we can make one more. I don't know. Oh, we might come a little short, actually. Oh, wait, no, there's some of the last page. Okay, I think we might have just enough. Dude, if we're, like, one short, that's gonna be, like, the cherry on top of this fucking shit cake. So, let's see if we have enough. If we're, like, one short, that would be so sad. Oh, no, we're short. Fuck, man, we're six short. Ah, uh, God. Fuck it. I'm, no, I'm, I'm breeding six more. I'm getting this one finished tonight. I don't care. I'll be back in a bit. <sighs> okay, welcome. Welcome back. I, I made the last of them. Now I can finally... I made a couple extras in case, but with that, there we go. That is now our fifth level four Anubis, which brings our total of four stars of general, I think, up to seven, because I have two on my team that are four star. Yeah, I got this one. Oh no, it's this one, this one, these two. Sorry about getting no legendary. I do have some from before. I'll show you what I got. I don't have many. I got these four. I got the. Bow, outfit, I got the helmet, that was the only good one, and then the handgun, which is pretty good too. But yeah, so, so no legendary schematic, I killed quite a bit today, but no drop, sadly. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTuber stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.